Satnam. My name is Amrit Singh and I'm very happy and uh, grateful to be able to share this June meditation of the month with you. You know, the events of the recent couple of months have really made me reflect and call on one of the facets of the teachings that I use a lot, which are the, <clears throat> the teachings about the three minds, the negative, positive, and neutral mind. Because these days, we're all really getting triggered with our negative mind a lot. We've got very natural and understandable fears about our, our health and safety because of the virus. We've got all kinds of uncertainty about the future, which brings up, again, feelings of fear from that uncertainty. Uh, so many people struggling financially. Um, and so we want to leverage the strengths of our negative mind, right? If the negative mind is not bad. We need it, right? We want to hear its messages of what we need to stay safe. Uh, we just don't want to be locked into viewing the world as um, only a threat or a risk to us. We want to have balance uh, in that. So one of the things that I've been doing a lot lately is um, thinking about the future, yes, um, and about the past, and, and thinking about what, what from the past is appropriate to bring into the future. Right? This is a long-term question as we transition into the Aquarian age. What kinds of practices and structures make sense in this new age? Uh, and where should we make changes? And where do we need to keep what we've had? Um, and also short term. And again, the, the world is different. Um, our community is changing and needs to grow in a lot of ways. So as we do those changes, as we make those growths, uh, what makes sense to keep from the past and what makes sense to, to reinvent? That's a really important question. Um, because we don't want our negative mind and that it, its quick reactivity to cause us to, as they would say, um, throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? We want to be able to distinguish. We want to be able to have discernment of um, what is important or true that uh, we want to keep with us. And so the meditation that I want to do with you through this month of June comes from the book, The Mind, and it's one of the synchronization meditations for one of the projections. And it's specifically to help us with this sensitivity, with being able to uh, discern and judge um, what from the past we need to change and what we want to keep. Um, so I think this meditation will help us as a community to grow and move more gracefully into the future. Um, honoring the past where it needs to and embracing, even if it's uncomfortable, all the change where, where that's appropriate. Um, so to practice, as we do uh, every practice, we'd start by tuning in with the Adi Mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Uh, and then the uh, posture, uh, the, the hands come the right hand on top of the left with both palms down, and they'll be uh, parallel to the ground at the level of your heart. Uh, the thumbs do um, an interesting mudra. If I bend it over, they look like this. So both thumbs are underneath the left palm and the thumbnails touch, right? So if you, hopefully you can see the thumbs are both bent so the thumbnails touch. So the palms right on top, level of the heart, thumb tips touching. And you uh, look at the tip of the nose and then we'll chant with the, uh, the chant Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, Wahi Jiyo. If you've got the music uh, from the Aquarian Sadhana by Gyani Ji, that's great. You can chant along with that. If you don't have it, you, know, you can use another rhythmic version or a cappella. Um, the, the part of the power and the key of this meditation, though, is to chant it by, uh, with each wa to lift, powerfully lift up on your navel point and the diaphragm. So each wa, you pull up navel point and diaphragm. So eyes at the tip of the nose, chanting. Um, you can go for 31 minutes if you want, or, or less, or build it up. Um, and practice it every day to, again, help balance this facet, this projection part of our negative mind. Um, so let's practice it so you can see how it goes just for a few rounds.
वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे जियो वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे जियो when you reach 11 minutes or 31 minutes as long as you're doing it for yeah, you'll just inhale deeply and hold you can contract the root lock focus at your third eye um, and consolidate the energy and then relax um, some things to focus on some as you practice it is there's a tendency for the shoulders to kind of tense up or rise up so keep the the neck and shoulders relaxed and the hands at the level of your heart uh, to get that proper movement of the diaphragm and the abdomen it's important to uh, have the seating correct right so you're on the sits bones or even on the front side of the sits bones so sit up on a pillow if you need to so you want to be able to elongate through your waist you want to kind of stretch up through your waist so that there's that freedom of movement of the diaphragm um, i found it, finding it to be a powerful and effective practice and i hope you do too as we go through this month of june together Satnam.